Hey, hey, Leo, intuitive soul coach here with your March 2022 career reading. So welcome back to my channel if you are returning and welcome if you are new. Today we're going to dive into the collective energy of Leo and take a look at all things surrounding your money, your finances, career opportunities, possible challenges that you may have and how we can help you navigate through them. So just a friendly reminder, these are general readings. Please do take what resonates and leave the rest behind. If you are interested, Leo, in a personal reading or even entering into the free monthly reading giveaway, you can find both of those links in the description box below. All right, let's dive into your reading here. Right away in the position of your past, we do have the anchor showing up here, Leo. The anchor talks about money blocks. It talks about being stuck. Uh, for some of you, it can talk about being financially sound or at least being uh, somewhat secure with where you are at in your finances. However, there may not be tons of emotional growth. Uh, you may have a career that is water related. Uh, maybe you have to travel for your career or you're feeling stable, but there is a sense of you, uh, many of you out there, I feel like you're ready to lift the anchor and uh, move forward in a brand new direction here especially if there were money blocks or you did feel stuck. Some of you have been working uh, at a place for quite some time or you have just been in the energy of feeling anchored or tied down to a situation and a lot of you are ready to break free. They are giving me Six of Swords energy, so I'll be curious to see if that shows up here for you. And the Six of Swords is about leaving the past in the past, moving forward and coming out stronger from a situation regarding your employment or regarding your career. Uh, smack dab in the middle here in present energy, we do have the pendulum. So this is about fluctuating income, kind of going back and forth. It talks about coming up with a new strategy. And that's the energy I'm feeling because of the past situation of feeling stuck, Leo, or feeling like you were in some sort of a rut or anchored down or tied to a situation. Uh, for some of you, you may have been unemployed for quite some time, or you may have been trying to grow a business, but you felt like you couldn't get past a certain, uh, certain maybe money quote, or you know, a certain amount of clients, or uh, there was just a, a level that you couldn't quite get past. Maybe you were building a YouTube channel and you could only get a certain amount of subscribers. Uh, so I'm feeling the energy of a lot of you just feeling like you wanted to move forward, but there may have been a pause, uh, but a reset button is happening now in March. Now this can be a career that is all about seasonal work. Maybe it was temporary, or maybe it was a job that you haven't been in too long. You may be having a job change or going through one here in March, but this is about making choices because there was a piece of you for quite some time that may have been a little bit indecisive, wondering, do I go this way? Do I go that way? Do I stay? Do I apply? Uh, so I feel for a lot of you that pendulum is swinging here, but it is going to swing in your favor, especially towards the end of March because we have the ring showing up here in the future. So this is a really beautiful energy to have showing coming up for you in the near future here, Leo, because it's about financial commitments. It's about long-term investments. For some of you, it is very important partnerships that come in that can... Uh, that can grow into retirement. I'm getting the 10 of Pentacles energy with this card. And this is about working together. It's about a fulfilling career. It's about emotional satisfaction. Instead of a lot of you feeling like, again, back and forth, back and forth, or anchored, stuck between uh, you know, a rock and a hard place, needing to kind of get up out of a rut and light that fire to move forward in a new area. I feel like you're doing it in the month of March, but let's take a look and dive into your reading, Leo. They're giving me the name here, Kira. Kira, if your name is Kira, please take it as it resonates, as it won't for everyone, but let's see where you are at. Where is your energy regarding the month of March? Beautiful. Six of Ariel showing up, six of Pentacles, and this talks about material needs getting fulfilled, and that's exactly what you have coming in here. It says uh, magical and unexpected ways. 
Uh, so again, material needs get fulfilled in magical and unexpected ways, acts of kindness, and it talks about giving and receiving. Now, this is really wonderful here, Leo, because the Ace of Pentacles is a gift from the universe. Now, this can be a gift in the form of a new job offer. Uh, this can be a business growth. There's something here with you getting over a hump. And like I said, even though this isn't six of swords energy, it is a six and sixes are about gratitude. They're about harmony. They can be about self-sacrifice, but the self-sacrifice is actually allowing you to move forward and achieve the success and abundance you want. So you could be sacrificing more time, more of your energy. Uh, maybe a lot of you that are entrepreneurs or trying to build a business, you may be looking at other ideas and coming up with new strategies to bring in more money. And that's what I'm seeing for you. So this is a really wonderful energy to be in where your material needs are getting uh, fulfilled. Some of you have money coming in is what they're showing me. Whether this is through, it could be a tax, uh, taxes coming back for you, or if this is a large chunk of money that you've been waiting on, maybe through inheritance, VA, child support, anything of that nature, I am seeing showing up for some of you as well. There could also be a uh, sales, sales of a, some sort of investment property. But we have the nine of pentacles. Leo, how, what wonderful energy to have here in March. The nine of pentacles is a really great uh, card to have in your money matters. It's only one away from the ten of pentacles, but this is saying you don't even need that other pentacle or the universe is going to bring in the other pentacle in time here. But the nine of pentacles talks about you reaching your goals. It's about celebration a successful harvest, which you can see is what's going on in this image. She is enjoying the fruit. She's enjoying the harvest because she's put in a lot of hard work, energy, and effort, Leo. So this is where I feel you are coming into. After a time of, again, feeling maybe a money block or feeling like you were stuck in a situation or um, just wanting to add a little more income to your your, your bank account or your nest egg here, it's highly possible this month to bring in more is what they're showing. I feel for a lot of you, if you just got a new job in the month maybe of February, even January, I feel like this could have long-term potential where even though it talks about a job change in the present moment, I am getting that uh, this present moment may even be the recent, recent past, like the last two to four weeks. So this uh, reading is coming out in... February, but we're doing a March reading. So this could be affecting you February, March, and even into April uh, a little bit too. But the Nine of Pentacles is wonderful. But let's see what challenge may be showing up for you, Leo, and how we can help you navigate through it. What challenges may be showing up here for Leo? All right. So let's just set these out here first for you. How would you like, Spirit? Thank you. Okay, so we have uh, the Queen of Michael, Queen of Michael, which is the Queen of Swords energy. So uh, this is somebody who is quite brilliant, self-reliant, insightful, and funny. It says, you know exactly what to do, the benefit of experience, a time for your career rather than your relationships. So for some of you, the Queen of Swords talks about communication. So you may need to work on communication or setting healthier boundaries for yourself this month. For example, if you are a business owner or if you're trying to get a business off the ground, it's setting healthy boundaries between you and maybe your patients or maybe your clients or you and other people here. Knowing when uh, one door opens and when to kind of keep, I don't want to say one door opens, but when to know where one line uh, starts and one ends here. So for example, let's say you have a client that calls you at 11 o'clock at night. It's about setting healthy boundaries instead of maybe the past you might answer that call. Or maybe you may say, <coughs> excuse me, yes, I'll work on a project or I'll work overtime or I'll do this or this. This is about setting healthy boundaries and doing what's in your highest good as well here, Leo. But I am seeing more money showing up. The challenge, again, for you can be about communicating with others about what it is that you need. It's about that self-reliance. So other people, they are showing me um, other people may really depend on you. There could be a little bit of codependence, whether that's in the workplace, or maybe you have really needy clients, or you may have family that needs additional support at this time, and it could be financial support as well. 
But the Queen of Swords energy talks about uh, making sure that you are staying honest with yourself about the direction that you want to go. But let's take a look and clarify the Queen of Swords, Leo, and see what this challenge is all about for you. What do we have here for Leo? They're giving me uh, somebody in a uniform here. So maybe you wear a uniform for your job uh, or somebody may have just dressed up uh, maybe full suit and tie or maybe a full on business outfit for maybe an interview here. But I am seeing uh, I'm seeing it's almost like a uniform attire coming in here. Six of swords. There's that energy I spoke of in the very beginning. And you can see here that uh, you there's the anchor. I love this. There is the anchor showing up for you that we talked of in the past. So the challenge for you could be leaving the past in the past or resisting some sort of a change regarding maybe an issue with being stuck. And the challenge for you is to set healthy boundaries. Step into that queen of swords energy where you're able to move on. Remove the anchor. Whatever is keeping you stuck here, Leo, in the month of March, this is about you lifting up and moving forward. Six of Swords, like I said, is about leaving the past in the past. It's a spiritual transition or journey to something bigger, something better. You're coming out stronger from a situation where at times you felt maybe a little bit overwhelmed or unable to cope in uh, a situation regarding your work or your finances here. And the challenge is to not resist this change coming in because the change is quite beautiful. But it may take uh, that hanged man energy where you are uh, seeing things in a new perspective with the pendulum because the pendulum talks about uh, coming up with a new strategy. So let's take a look and see what's below you. Ace of Gabrielle. This is wonderful. Ace of Wands energy. You're ready, Leo. A gift of passion, opportunity, and inspiration. The chance to do something amazing. A sense of wonder. The Ace of Wands is one of the best cards in tarot. It's about chasing your dreams, Leo. Going all in. Feeling inspired. Feeling creative. Feeling passionate. It's also about feeling like you actually have a sense of purpose and that other people appreciate you as well. For some of you, there may have been a lack of motivation. You may have felt a little bit burnt out doing what you were doing. Or for those of you creatives out there, maybe you had a creative block or you weren't able to get past some sort of a hump. And that's what I'm getting here with the anchor as well. But I feel like underneath it all, you're ready to reignite that spark that really uh, can push you forward to bring in more money than you are even aware of. So let's take a look here and clarify the Ace of Wands. Ace of Wands energy. Uh, they are showing me it could be uh, two sisters, it could be uh, mother-daughter, it could be father-son. They're showing me some sort of family. Uh, maybe you're following in the footsteps of a family member or maybe you are joining businesses with uh, maybe collaborating with a family member or uh, somebody that you feel really close to as well. That could be coming up here in the future with the ring because they're giving me two of cups energy where a very important partnership may be coming in for you into the future temperance. You've waited a long time here to go all in, to chase your dreams. You may have felt this block or this stuck energy here, Leo, with the anchor for a long time. So you're not waiting around any longer. Something needs to shift. Something needs to uh, kind of be balanced out again because the temperance card is about blending energies. It's talking about at times it got so chaotic or so imbalanced that maybe you weren't quite sure what to do from day to day. Maybe you were living to paycheck to paycheck, or maybe you didn't even have money to buy certain things here. Whatever you felt anchored down, they're also telling me that there was a job that you may have been in or you still may be currently in here that is really mentally taxing, taxing on your health, also taxing on your body and your body is feeling it as well. Maybe you were humped over a computer all day. Perhaps you are constantly on your feet or you are enduring a lot of mental stress, but I feel like there, uh, this is a long time coming. But the good news is the universe is stepping in here with a beautiful gift for you in the month of March. So let's take a look and see what's going on in your recent past. We have Six of Swords showing up again for you. This is that energy uh, that we've been talking about from the get-go with the anchor. It says it's time to see the light at the end of the tunnel. Breathe a sigh of relief and make new plans. Relocation or travel. 
So again, there's a situation of you needing to resist this change that's coming in here. Six of Swords showing it showing up is saying that you were unable to to kind of get yourself out of this storm. Six of um, Swords says you want to walk away, you want to move on, but you're still stuck. You have the anchor showing up. This is the past. This is the past here. So both uh, energies, spirits, really saying it's. The time is now to move forward. You're going to see the light at the end of the tunnel. And you can see here from the storm, maybe you've been going through the storm in your career the last two years with everything going on in the world, Leo, or maybe this has been the last couple of months, whatever this is for you, there's finally light at the end of the tunnel and the universe is bringing it in. You've endured a lot, but let's take a look and clarify the six of swords, six of Michael. It is time. You're coming out stronger from a situation. Your soul's done a lot of growing. So pat yourself on the back because you made it. You made it is what I'm hearing here. Uh, you're getting the same cards over and over here. Nine of Pentacles showing up again for you. So the Nine of Pentacles is saying, yes, you're coming to the edge, the edge where you're able to stand on your own two feet again. This is about self-sufficiency, enjoying the rewards here because you're finally were able to move forward or you will be moving forward and taking action on uh, your own independence, reaching some sort of a goal, some sort of a milestone that you have been putting in a lot of time, energy, and effort for quite a while, regardless of feeling the lack of motivation. So I feel like you kept going. Uh, so nine of wands energy, you kept moving forward in a difficult time. And sometimes you weren't even sure how you put one foot in front of the other and kept going uh, in the time of stress, but you did it. And now the universe is coming in to reward you. We do have the five of Michael showing up here as what's above you. And it says this situation doesn't serve you. Release your attachment to the outcome. This is what we've been saying here for you, Leo. Consider taking a more uplifting approach. And that's what you're doing. The six of Michael, I feel like you're moving on. But remember, the challenge is to not resist this change, not to stay stuck any longer in a situation that is dead, dead and gone. It's a situation where people People maybe not uh, appreciating your work. Maybe you feel like just another number, or just another uh, paycheck here. You're putting in a lot of hours and you're asking yourself for what? Am I really getting ahead or if I am I just spinning the wheel, burning the candle at both ends here? So the five of Michael is saying that uh, you are finally ready to move on. Five of swords is uh, talking about knowing when to continue fighting for something and knowing when to lay down your sword and just move into a new direction. I feel like a lot of you are wanting uh, this brand new beginning and you wanna feel inspired. You wanna feel passion towards what it is that you do. But let's clarify. The Five of Swords is about some of you uh, walking away from conflict, okay? So if you are currently in a situation where there is a lot of conflict. Maybe it's even mental conflict for you, Leo. It could be mental conflict because of a decision here that you need to do and you know you need to, or it could be a conflict in the workplace. You're taking action, there it is. It's time for you to, it's almost like you're jumping through hoops to achieve uh, some sort of an outcome here. But I feel like you are your own hero is what I'm hearing. You are your own hero. They're also giving me the name um, Jones. So this could be your name, or maybe it's the name of a company. Maybe it's, uh, take it as it resonates for you, J Jones. Uh, but Knight of Wands says you're definitely taking action and you're getting out of whatever this stuck energy is. So I like this for you, Leo. Let's take a look and see what's showing up for you in the near future. Oh my goodness, we have the star. This says a dream coming true. Believe in yourself, the end of a difficult situation. This is your month to shine. There is an energy here, Leo, of uh, inspiration. This is about self-care, self-love, growth. It's about healing as well, but it's about you finally achieving some sort of success. Some of you may be put in the spotlight. Maybe you are a shining star. Maybe you're putting yourself out there on social media, or you are uh, putting your creative work out there to be kind of uh, viewed by others. You're magnetized at this time. Um, some of you are a rising star. Uh, Leo, this is your energy here of uh, you rising up, rising up to fame for some of you. Others of you, this is about stepping into your power, stepping into your energy. Whatever you've been wanting 
to manifest and working on manifest, the star is an absolute yes, uh, yes card. So if you've been wanting that job, uh, if you've been wanting that raise, if you've been wanting to cross some sort of a hump in a business here, you're going to see a lot of growth and movement. I'm seeing the chariot coming in. Something brings a lot of success and stability. Also, uh, long-term investments and commitments here with the ring showing up for you. But let's clarify the star energy for you. Spirit, please tell me about the star showing up here for Leo. I feel like there was more than one that they wanted here. Okay, so King of Cups. Yeah, this is going to bring a lot of emotional uh, contentment, stability towards you. It's going to fill you with a lot of emotions because they're telling me that you may have thought that this would never happen or it's been so long, a uh, long time coming that maybe you lost hope for a while, but I feel like this is going to bring in a lot of happiness for you. Again, after a time of trying to plan your future out with the Two of Pentacles, trying to juggle up a lot in your life, uh, Nine of Wands, there's that card I spoke of earlier about your determination, your persistence to find motivation in a difficult time and to keep going. It's saying here that you're finishing something that you started and that uh, may be coming within. You're stepping into your power and that's where you are really seeing the light at the end of this tunnel. Justice is coming in here and it will weigh out in your favor. This is a huge yes card again. Things are uh, bringing, the universe is bringing good karma your way, Leo, and bringing balance into your life. This can be about legalities as well. If you've been waiting to hear back about some sort of uh, legality, again, it could be something to do with uh, VA, taxes, child support, anything of that nature or alimony, uh, or if you've just been waiting to hear from a job opportunity, this is saying that the scales are balanced. And you can see that the scale is balanced and the sword is upward. So this is about good communication coming your way. Something that will make you really happy. All right, let's take a look and see what you're telling yourself, Leo. You want more peace in your life. This is the death card. So you're telling yourself you're done, done, and over with an energy. There's transformation. This talks about releasing the past. There is a more enriching future coming. Let go and let God. You definitely want more peace in your life regarding your career, your finances, your goals, your hitting milestones. It's coming for you in the month here of March. They're really giving me strongly uh, March 11th and March 22nd uh, could be two very important days for you regarding some sort of a milestone. But the death card is all about a, a new chapter. Uh, you being reborn and there's transformation in this energy here. And I feel like you're going from some sort of stuck energy that you've been in. And think of, uh, you know, the cocoon and the caterpillar feeling stuck in that cocoon for quite some time and feeling like, oh, at any day, they're just going to probably die, right? But they come out, they emerge as a beautiful butterfly and uh, it's bigger and brighter and more colorful than they could have ever imagined staying inside that cocoon. And that's kind of what I'm getting here for your energy showing up. You're telling yourself that you're ready for more peace. You're actually way more than ready for this new change to come into your life here. Leo, this is really wonderful. Let's clarify this death card showing up. Oh, yes. Yes. Remember earlier the temperance came up? Finally, uh, your time is coming in. Finally, uh, I'm hearing somebody really breathing and taking in a deep sigh of relief because again, it, it's been a waiting period for you here and uh, nobody likes the word waiting. Nobody likes the word patience, uh, but there is a balance showing up here. There's finally um, a blending of energies. You coming into contact or coming into energy with the right people that uplift you and bring more stability towards your life. And that's what that ring is all about as well. So really wonderful. I am excited to see where this goes for you. Let's take a look at your energy, your surroundings. What is showing up? You have absolutely amazing cards out here, Leo. And I feel like you're walking away from um, any chaos, any mental conflict, uh, any confusion that you felt confused about, you're going to see things uh, that things are coming into light for the better. Seven of Ariel. This is your hard work, dedication, and effort paying off. It says you have invested wisely, have patience, and wait for the harvest. 
Yep, we have patience showing up. The harvest is coming in sooner rather than later here. It says review your progress and make plans for your next endeavor. Absolutely here. So it says... Uh, with the seven of pentacles energy this is really wonderful because this is the card of hard work and you did get that here with the nine of wands you're persistent you're pushing through and you keep uh going and going and going even at times when you feel like gosh i can't go any further i can't keep doing this the time is coming in you are going to reap the harvest here i really love this you can see that there's a lot of beautiful flowers there's a lot of growth potential I am getting the energy of more uh, springtime, so that would make sense with us doing a March reading if you are in an area that has spring, uh, March even into April as well, but there's new growth here, physically, uh, emotionally, spiritual, so let's take a look and clarify the Seven of Pentacles showing up here for you, Leo. Seven of Pentacles says that uh, you're definitely making a decision here to move in a brand new direction. Because you know that something is uh, needing to go through change with this transformation. Uh -huh. Remember that uh, two of cups I talked about earlier? There's that partnership. So it is showing up for you in your energy, in your environment, in the month of March. This is that rings card I spoke of earlier when I talked of important uh connections, important partnerships. And I love that it shows up in your surroundings because it's saying that the right people are coming in here for you, Leo, at the right time to offer you, um, it's almost to offer you a gift, to offer you an open hand or offer you maybe financial resources. This is about you partnering up, whether this is with a physical individual, maybe it's partnering up with spirit, uh, maybe it's partnering up with your divine masculine and feminine. Please take it as it resonates. But I feel like you are coming uh, together. There's almost like a closing of a cycle here, uh, coming full circle, and now you're able to move on and go towards that Ten of Pentacles. And I also mentioned this card uh, earlier as well, showing up. The Ten of Pentacles is about, again, coming full circle, but it's about doing something that is going to build a legacy that will... Uh, will sustain you into retirement. This is huge for you, Leo. Whatever this is that you are building up, I feel like you're getting a lot of attention for this. Whatever you're doing, uh, a lot of people are gravitated towards you at this time. Knight of Swords says you are definitely taking action. The Knight of Swords here is the fastest moving knight in the deck. He is a decision maker. He goes for what he wants. And I feel like you're finally cutting through barriers. You can see that she's holding the paintbrush here, Leo, and she's cutting through anything and painting through anything. And her creative side is showing. And uh, she has, you know, the pages written on her and she's floating. She's not anchored down any longer. And this is you. You're not anchored or tied to a situation. You're finally free. What are you free to do? step into your power. This is the most beautiful card you can get here in a career reading and it's showing up in your energy. This is the emperor. Leo, the emperor is about you taking uh, authority, you stepping into your power, very intentional energy, stable, grounded, disciplined, powerful. It's about setting uh, that firm foundation that will withstand you again into retirement. There's residual income or some sort of growth here that has the potential to expand and grow that you can pass down uh, to maybe your own children or pass down to your family. There's something with a legacy being left behind here due to a very important partnership in your life. Ten of Pentacles, wonderful, and you taking action. Wow. Leo, this is one of the best readings I've done for you here. Uh, March is definitely going to be your month. Let's take a look and see what your hopes and fears are regarding your money, your situation, your hopes and fears. Justice, and we had the justice already show up here. So whatever you're weighing up at this time or you feel like you want justice or you want balance, uh, that's your hope. It says, fight for justice and equality. Rulings made in your favor. Don't give up. And that's exactly what we just said here. The fear here is what if it doesn't work out in your favor? But I feel right now, right now, Leo, I want you to say to yourself, I release uh, this fear. I do, uh, rulings are made in my favor. I will not give up. So tell yourself these positive things because they're coming in for you. And justice is... Uh, Justice is going to bring in a lot of balance and happiness for you. So I love this. 
this is really, really wonderful. But let's clarify this justice card. Yeah, because you've been doing something on your own or you maybe it felt like uh, you had to fight on your own for something here. Maybe you were on a solo energy or you really had to build yourself up. This They're telling me that you're very self-made here, Leo. So it's like you had to step into your power and you were the only one that could help you do that. Uh, but I do feel with the four of wands right behind it, your hope here is that there will be celebrations, that you will be able to hit milestones, that you won't feel like an outsider or possibly feeling rejected or like you have to work so hard to achieve some sort of success coming in here. But I feel like uh, you've put in the work that will bring in the income uh, in grow. So they're telling me again, work smarter, not harder. So you've done the harder part of uh, the work. Now it's about working smarter and I feel like the money is going to flow more easily than it has in the past for you. So really wonderful. Leo, let's take a look at your final outcome. Final outcome. Okay, we do have one that's flipped here. Ten of Pentacles. I love this. I didn't even see this flip when I was shuffling through here. The Ten of Ariel is the Ten of Pentacles, which is that card here of, uh, it just came out for you. I want you to take a look here at this uh, energy because that's that card of leaving behind a legacy like we spoke of, coming full circle here uh, for you Leo, really wonderful. So if you've been questioning whether you're on the right track or whether something uh, has the potential to grow or if you're going to catch your lucky break here, the Ten of Pentacles is one of the best cards that you can get in uh, a tarot reading regarding your career. So I feel like it's... Okay. Well, you've seen it come up here, but it says here, uh, there is very much to be grateful for financial success and the promise of retirement, a rich and rewarding family life. This is about having your cake and eating it too. It's uh, some of you are going into retirement or you may be focusing on maybe even retiring early. There's something here where there's a long-term investment, financial commitment here, partnerships, fulfilling career that has the potential to, again, bring in a lot of money that will help you grow or, and your money will grow is what they're telling me. This is, oh my goodness. I don't think anybody has gotten such a good reading. And uh, it's really beautiful because I feel like uh, this is coming out. Actually, this reading here for you is coming out on the full moon in Leo in February. Even if you're watching this uh, at that time here, you're stepping into your power. And uh, even though this is a March reading, you're going to feel the energy start starting to shift. And they are telling me here for you, Leo, uh, you already know intuitively, a lot of you are highly intuitive. You've known that this change is taking place. You just weren't quite sure when it was going to happen. Okay, yeah, there's that blast from the past. You've been thinking about this for a while. There's something that you knew that if you put in the hard work, dedication, and effort, another seven of pentacles here, that you would finally cut through the barrier. There's clarity here. There's aha moments uh, that are going to really sustain you. I love this energy showing up for you, Leo. This is one of the best readings ever. Let's take a look and get a message from the wisdom of the oracle for you, Leo. Really wonderful. Uh, your chance to shine. Oh my gosh, you got another justice card showing up. Libra and energy. You may have Libra in your chart. You may be uh, dealing with another Libra or you just are embodying the energy here. But it says to be fair. So rulings definitely made in your favor. It's also card 38. Uh, uh, 3 and 8 is 11. And that is the justice card as well. So wow, all of these coincidences here in your reading are just absolutely phenomenal. All right, this card is all about balance. It's about justice, a need to consider options. It talks about mutual benefit as well as the law of cause and effect. So the prosperity message here is this. Now is a time for even exchanges. Justice will prevail and you will be treated accordingly. In all your affairs, you will be able to negotiate fair settlements. Mutual gain is the gift to you and your partners and colleagues. This is also a good time to square your finances and take stock of how you are compensated for your work. This card signifies balance, justice, and negotiation. So remember that all things must be fairly compensated. 
Keep this as your truth and so it will be. This is absolutely wonderful. Uh, they're actually showing me, I got to read to you because I'm reading the prosperity message here from the guidebook, but there is an oracle message. And just as I was about to uh, put the book down because I read the prosperity, the word pendulum popped up immediately. Spirit showed me in this guidebook. And I have to read this to you as well because we have the pendulum in your present energy. So I'm just going to read the oracle message as well for you. Life offers experiences that are challenging and experiences that are nourishing, yet over time they strike a balance. You move from being from stasis to doing, from discovering to loving to letting go to being again. Life is a pendulum swinging between all of these states. You will always oscillate back and forth between doing and being. If you are not content with where you are at this moment, remember that all experiences have their place. Accept them without judgment and you will see how the universe adjusts in perfect balance. You reap what you sow for every cause there is an effect. Wondrous things will be revealed now. Oh my goodness, Leo, this is the exact energy. You're just getting so many synchronicities and clarifications in this reading. I absolutely love this for you. Now let's take a look and see what your soul wants you to know regarding your money, regarding your finances. Uh, if you are taking notes or jotting anything down here, I do recommend that you write down this question and ask yourself this through the throughout the month of, uh, excuse me, throughout the month of March and even into uh, the rest of the year here. Okay, so this talks about health goals. Uh, they're really showing me mental health because that did get brought up earlier, uh, but some of you may be focusing on moving towards things that are healthier towards you, healthier uh, environments, healthier dynamics. This can be even positive thinking here. It says, where am I with my health goals? Where do I want to be? And why am I not there? What will it take for me to feel well? Some of you have a job that physically or mentally makes you ill. Or you may have contracted uh, an illness due to staying at a place for too long. So there is a metaphysical reason, Leo, behind every illness. And sometimes when uh, we know we need to move forward or maybe we need to slow down or we're not listening to our intuition or we're not speaking up, the areas of our body let us know by manifesting maybe a cough or, you know, uh, headaches or this could be twisting an ankle or, you know, anything that your body may be trying to speak to you at this time, do pay attention. It says, if my body could talk, it would say blank. Today's soul action, Leo, feed your body what it needs to feel nourished, appreciated, and loved. Make some new exciting goals to your health and take it to the next level. Yes, absolutely. Uh, you're finally coming out of um, stagnancy. Like I said earlier, there may have been a stuck energy where maybe you just didn't feel motivated to move forward, but now is the time. You're going to feel that ace of wands energy where you're going to feel the fire, the spark reignited uh, with doing something that you really love here. So I love this showing up for you, Leo. All right, we're going to get a message here from your spirit animals. And at this time, Leo, I just ask that you close your eyes for a moment if you can. Tune into that third eye chakra. That is the area between your eyebrows. Take a deep breath in from the belly, the solar plexus area. And I want you to think of the first animal or animals that show up in your mind's eye. Now this can be an animal that flies high in the sky. Perhaps it is an animal that swims deep in the sea. Perhaps it is an animal that is wild, mystical, magical, or maybe even domesticated. Perhaps it is an animal that you currently at, have at your home at this time, or maybe you had as a small child. There is no right or wrong answer. And if you need a moment, just pause the video and come back when you are ready, Leo. And for those of you that would like to be entered into the free monthly reading giveaway, where I post one lucky winner right back here on this channel. So do make sure you hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. 
All you need to do, Leo, is post your power animal in the comment box below, and I personally will enter you into that free monthly reading giveaway. All right, let's get your power animal messages. Right away, we have Peacock Spirit. Let it shine. Let it shine here. This is one of the most beautiful cards uh, regarding energy and imagery uh, in the entire deck. I just love this energy because this is about you putting yourself out there, and you do have the star card showing up here in the near future. This is about you shining. This is about dreams coming true. And I feel like you are coming from a place of authenticity and you're letting your power really stand out. It's time for you to roar here, Leo. I really love this for you. The next card we have is Chameleon Spirit. Act as if. For those of you that have had a hard time trying to manifest abundance for yourself, act as if you have gotten the job, if it's a job that you want. If this is you growing an online business or maybe you growing a YouTube channel, see the numbers uh, you know, piling up. See a certain number here hit by a certain date. Act as if this has already happened for you. What are the feelings behind it? Are you feeling uh, success? Are you feeling gratitude? Are you feeling happiness? Are you feeling accomplishment? So act as if these things have already happened because you are manifesting something absolutely beautiful into your energy here. Next, we have Hawk Spirit. Let spirit be your guide. And remember earlier, I did uh, pull that two of cups energy. Spirit showed the two of cups. So that's about very important partnerships, but it's also about your partnership here with spirit. And spirit wants to guide you to a more uh, fulfilling, enriching future regarding your finances. We have Nightingale. Love is all around. You're feeling the love at this time. You're really feeling the blessings, Leo. And I feel like you are uh, lending a hand of uh, gratitude as well. There's a lot of you that are, again, really shining. And I feel like you, you're feeling loved. You're feeling uplifted at this time. Other people are noticing uh, that you you may be doing something in your career that you really love, and it's actually attracting a lot of people on a heart-to-heart, -heart, soul level, which is really great. You may be making a big difference in the world, Leo. You may be uh, helping other people out on an even deeper level than you can even imagine. And lastly, we have the, I feel always Queen of Swords energy, which you have showing up. Smack dab is your challenge. And it says, uh, set healthy boundaries. Again, like we spoke of the challenge, make sure you know uh, when you're crossing one line into another and know the difference between the two here, okay? Know when to set healthy boundaries for yourself. Say yes when it's a soul yes and say no when it's not actively serving your soul's growth here. So set those healthy boundaries uh, in order to grow and strive. Also, uh, they're telling me negotiations as well. So it may be about you negotiating uh, with the Queen of Swords, uh, setting healthy boundaries, but also setting uh, some sort of fairness into order here. All right, last but not least, before we close down your reading, Leo, which is, goodness, one of the best readings ever, we're going to get a message from the Crystal Spirit Oracle deck. And by the way, for any of you that are interested in any of the decks that you see up here or any that I've used during your reading, you can find all of that information in the description box below. And we have hematite, hematite, uh, very beautiful energy. It's very grounding. Uh, you may have hematite bracelets. As you can see, there's a little bit of hematite here in this one here, uh, but it does help ground your energy and uh, bring a sense of stability as well. So let's see what the message is for you before we close down your reading. And uh, this card is all about becoming grounded. It's about getting back to the earth. It's about practicality and centeredness, balance and calm. And you have balance showing up numerous times here in your reading, Leo. And uh, let's take a look and see what the prosperity message is for you. In all your financial and business dealings, be authentic and down to earth. Dreaming is good. It helps you be creative and enthusiastic, but you also need to have a firm foundation for building wealth and sustaining the prosperity you desire. That's that emperor energy, Leo. Hematite Spirit's message to you regarding wealth and money is to be practical. Go over your paperwork, check your investments, pay what you owe, and be respectful of the riches that come to you. 
Take a moment to feel grateful for all that you have and for the help of hematite spirit with its energy of groundedness in maintaining your prosperity so you can enjoy it for a long time to come. Ten of Pentacles, Leo, for a long time to come into retirement and beyond. So again, another card that pretty much clarifies everything uh, that Spirit has been saying here for you. So what an absolutely wonderful reading. Uh, if you are taking notes, do feel free to come back and visit uh, or come back at the end of March. Leo, I would love to hear how your month has uh, transpired. Remember, you do have free will. This is uh, never set in stone, but it is uh, what can happen if you continue on the path that you're going here. So a lot of wonderful uh, blessings coming in from the universe here. I hope you grab them up. And Leo, uh, do feel free to like if this message resonates or if you like it. And uh, comment your power animal in the comment section below. And do subscribe if you haven't already. And I am sending all of you lovely souls a lot of love and light. Till next time, Leo.